multi-digit numbers. We're going to round 798,563 to the nearest hundred. Okay, first we need to identify which numbers in the hundreds. We have the ones and we have the tens and the hundreds. So let's circle this number that's in the hundreds. The way to round this is to look at the smaller value which is in the tens place which is six. So I'm going to underline six is already underlined and I'm going to point an arrow to the hundreds. Because we know any number that is five or more we round up. Any number less than five we're going to keep it the same. So I'm going to write same here. Just one little quick strategy to use whenever you're rounding. So we see that the number in the tens place is six and you see that it is five or more. So we're going to round up. So we're going to move this number up one, add one more to it and it becomes six. Now all the other numbers that are in the smallest uh, value, we're going to turn those to zero. Because remember, we only concentrate on the number that we're rounding, which is the nearest hundred. And all the smaller numbers, all the smaller values, turn to zeros. So now, when, whenever we rewrite this number, we have 79, <laughs> 79, 798,000, comma, and we write 600. So as we can see, we rounded 5 up one more to 6 because the number in the smaller value right next to it in the tens place is 5 or more. So it rounds the number in the hundreds one more, which is 6. So we say the number again, 798,600. Okay, let's look at the second problem we have is we're going to round the same number to the nearest thousand. So let's identify the number that's in the thousands. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So I'm going to circle that number that's in the thousands. Again, we look at the number that's in the smaller value. In this case, it's the hundreds. So it's a smaller value right next to the thousands and it's in the hundreds. So it had five. So I'm going to point an arrow to the eight. And as we can see here, if it's five or more, we're going to round up. So we're going to round eight up one more and it's going to turn to nine. And remember, all the smaller values less than the thousands place, we're going to change those to zero because we're only concentrating on rounding to the nearest thousand. So now, whenever we rewrite this number, we have 798, I'm sorry, 799. In this case, I was still focused on this, the first one. So it's 799,000. Alrighty. Let's look at the next one. We have 798,000. We're going to round the same number to the nearest 10,000. Okay, so which number is in the 10,000s? We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000. So we circle that number that's in the 10,000. In this case, is 9. So as we can see, we're going to use a number in the smaller value which is right next to the ten thousands. In this case we have thousands place. We're going to use that number to determine if we round up. Here we go. Go five or more round up. Anything that's less than five it stays the same. So in this case the number of the thousands is eight. So we're going to round the number of ten thousands one more. So that's going to be ten. So look what we have to do with this. Just like when we add, so that number is going to turn to zero, and we're going to add one more in the hundred thousands place. So now this number is going to become 
change the color so we can see that. This is going to become 8. And that stays at 0. And all the smaller values less than the 10 thousands will turn to 0. So as you can see, we had to carry 1 over. So now we're going to rewrite that number and it's going to become 800,000. So we just have to remember if the number is a two digit number we have to carry the one over to the next value, the next larger value. In this case it's 100,000. That's our answers. <laughs>